IT Talent College presents Martin Laumann, co-founder of the Key Foundation on Privacy. Privacy online is an illusion. I would lie if I said this is about to change. And I believe that it is impossible to protect one's information online. We should never think to gain control over our information in the digital world. It is possible through innovation can no longer be said. It is just the way it is. Individuals need to adapt to systems implemented by organizations. That is the new way of working. Enabling individuals to control their own information is way too difficult. To log on to multiple portals using different usernames and passwords is the only solution to gain access to one's own information. Simplifying things for individuals, that is unnecessary. Individuals are treated badly. Key turns the world upside down. Individuals are treated badly. That is unnecessary. Simplifying things for individuals to gain access to one's own information is the only solution. Using different usernames and passwords to log on to multiple portals is way too difficult. Enabling individuals to control their own information, that is the new way of working. Systems implemented by organizations need to adapt to individuals. It is just the way it is, can no longer be said. It is possible through innovation to gain control over our information in the digital world. We should never think that it is impossible to protect one's information online. And I believe this is about to change. I would lie if I said, privacy online is an illusion. And um, I would like to take you on a trip to a world we uh, entered around seven years ago as the Key Foundation. And some of my colleagues are, are here. Um, thank you for coming. All of you, thank you for coming. And what I would like to show you is how we could change the, difficult, the, the digital world. And how we can get digital self-determination, because that's what's wrong, and that's what Richard already pointed out. We have no control when we're online. We are all just a product in the digital world. And what I would like to show you is an ideal, and this ideal starts with two people wanting to go online to contact each other, and of course, then they would have to be there, not just looking at some screens on your phone or on your Apple or on your Windows or whatever, preferably uh, GNU, Linux. But you need something. But you, if you need something, a device, you're not there. You're just looking through glass. And if you would be there, this would be some, some kind of node in an infrastructure, an infrastructure that you could control. And if you have this node, then you could imagine that there are applications, programs running on your site, on your phone, on your device, under your control. And maybe you're not a programmer, you can use them, but you can control them. And if you have an application which you can use, and then you might think of something that your node could connect you through your data, the data that's about you, on the side of, for instance, the government, or on the side of, well, everything. Because everywhere there's information about you. And the problem today is, in average, there are around 1,500 databases where there's something about you. But the problem is that no one knows which databases they are, what they're used for, and what's done with all this data. So in the ideal world, I show you here, you would be in control and you would be connecting to your data at any place and you would be able to use it with the guarantee it's coming from this original or authentic source. And if you would connect to that 
data, you, through your node, will be able to give that piece of data you would like to give to another organization with the guarantee that it's coming from a source. And that would help a lot. Because, in fact, today, the world we know is the World Wide Web world, and it's represented here. What you have here is the result of around 25 years of invention. And what you see there is this little guy with a bunch of keys in his hand. He needs to log in into multiple portals and devices and apps and mail and everything. And this guy's not looking very happy because he needs some kind of password program to make him remember all his passwords. And he needs lots of keys and he's every time he's logging in, bringing data to this organization he, who needs this data, or he's logging in to collect data. And the problem here is, in fact, not only that he's, he's needing to log in all the time, but in fact what you see here is that all his data is kept in silos. And this picture shows that he's not in control of his own data. Of course, it's, it's over there. There are rules and regulations. If he fills in a form because he's interested in finding a job, then it starts with an account. And this account is not under his control. He has to fill in all these fields in, in this form. And for instance, if you want to have an insurance or a mortgage, then you would be starting with entering just another account, opening up another account, even if you only want an offer, not a contract, just an offer. And if you do that, then you would be entering all other silos to collect data that's about you, about the value of your house at your, at your community, uh, at the local government, or uh, you have to log in at uh, Duo uh, to find the, uh, the registration they have there about your, uh, your debt. The bank knows if you have uh, an additional job uh, at Saturday. They know what you earn. And all this information you have to collect by logging in, and you fill it in in this huge form for a mortgage, around 80 different fields you have to fill in. And the result of that is that this e enormous form, and usually you don't fill in one, you, for, to be sure, you ask three offers. So three times you have to fill in all these forms. And the result of that is that the organization on the other side that would like to make you an offer is going to check whether it was true what you filled in in this form. So this is really an annoying way of working. Your data is all over the place. There are three offers and these organizations on the other side, they, in average, for a mortgage form, they, have, they need 32 hours to check all the data you filled in. So it's rather ridiculous. So three offers, almost 100 hours, people are checking the fact whether you were telling the truth or not. And the result of that is that maybe one contract you will sign, but the others will have all your data as well. So what we, in, in first step, could do is avoid all the login trouble. And step two, federated authentication. And that's what we today um, are doing a little bit with, uh, uh, for instance, in the Netherlands, with uh, EID, IDENS is, is called right now. Uh, the Dutch government is uh, practicing with that. And of course, that will solve, and it will be solved, it will solve the problem of remembering all these passwords and login uh, data. But what it doesn't solve is the fact that still all the information about you is in silos. And we need to change that in order to one day to have this ideal of you being in control of your own data. And of course, that saves privacy issues. So what we are doing with the Key Foundation, which is a non-profit uh, in the Netherlands, and we have been working on this for seven years now, what we are doing is using 
the federated login that's being promised by Dutch government, by the Dutch banks, by European initiatives like IDES, and we're using it to add some a new layer to the internet. And later on, I will tell you a little bit about this relation with the OC model. But for now, we, we're adding a trust framework, a new infrastructure with new rules. And the new rules are so strict that they are your rules. And every organization that wants to connect to you has to obey your rules. Because you have this position, this note in the trust framework. All right, so if we go back to this ideal we're working on, then you would be in the central, there would be a digital me. And we're working on this with, uh, with the Key Foundation, um, with um, establishing a standard when it comes to the technical layer. We're working on it with legal layer, and we're working on it with a governmental layer, because you cannot give this in the hands of a government or a commercial organization. <laughs>